tonight on SmackDown, it is a five-man elimination matchup to determine the number one contender for the United States Championship. Braun Breaker, Robert Roode, Dolph Ziggler, Mustafa Ali, and the returning American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. One of these five men will be next up to challenge the ring general Gunther for the United States title. Who will it be? We find out in tonight's main event on Friday Night SmackDown. But we kick things off tonight from Nashville with the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship, the 2023 King of the Ring winner, Austin Theory, is live here in Nashville. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Austin Theory. Well, the man from A-Town has got himself a first-class ticket to SummerSlam, where we now know he will go one-on-one -on -one with the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre, in Friday Night SmackDown's main event for the World Heavyweight Championship. Austin Theory, of course, earning that opportunity all the way back in June at the King of the Ring, where he won the 2023 King of the Ring Tournament. Theory lied in wait waiting to see who is going to leave money in the bank this past Sunday night as the world heavyweight champion and Drew McIntyre yet again surviving another challenge defeating Edge and Randy Orton in a violent war in that triple threat matchup. Austin Theory will have his hands full it is going to be a tough mountain to climb on August the 20th at SummerSlam but tonight Austin Theory's got his hands full with the human highlight reel of Friday Night Smackdown the one and only Ricochet who's looking to bounce back after his six-man Money in the Bank ladder match loss. And his opponent from Paducah, Kentucky, weighing in at 190 pounds, Ricochet! Well, Ricochet, unfortunately, coming up short in the Money in the Bank ladder matchup on the men's side of the field this past Sunday night. Ricochet representing SmackDown in that match, but unfortunately the briefcase taken home by Monday Night Raw's Seth freaking Rollins. Seth Rollins of Raw now guaranteed a championship opportunity anytime, any place over the next year and could very well cash in on the World Heavyweight Champion of Friday Night SmackDown as well. You never know what's gonna happen with that Money in the Bank briefcase. Seth Rollins could be eyeing up Drew McIntyre to win back the World Championship he lost back at WrestleMania earlier this year. Nonetheless, we are kicking things off hot and heavy tonight in Nashville, Tennessee. Ricochet one-on-one -on -one with all-day Austin Theory on a night where we will determine the brand-new number one contender for the United States Championship Friday Night SmackDown hot out of the gate, and so is the one and only. Remember, Ricochet and Austin Theory, these two men, no strangers to each other. As a matter of fact, Austin Theory defeated Mustafa Ali, Ricochet's tag team partner, all the way back in the first round of the King of the Ring Tournament. So I'm sure Ricochet looking to do one good for his tag team partner tonight, but of course, Ali going to be a part of the five-man elimination matchup in your main event. Possibly has a chance to fight Guther for the United States Championship he held back in December of last year. In theory, outrunning one of the quickest superstars in the WWE right there. Austin Theory, even though he won the King of the Ring and certainly was impressive all the way through, outlasting four rounds back in May and June, the last two times we saw Theory inside of that squared circle, he has come up on the losing end. I'll bite last week here on SmackDown, that eight-man tag team matchup. He did not take the pinfall, but nonetheless on the losing side of the match. Theory's got to put some victories together. Got to get the momentum on his side as much as he possibly can. Is certainly the biggest challenge of Austin Theory's career coming up at SummerSlam against Drew McIntyre. McIntyre has been on the roll of a lifetime. You check the record books. Drew McIntyre has not been defeated since December the 14th of last year. Undefeated over the last seven months in singles action and the tag team ma matches for that matter for Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre has taken on any and all comers, whether the championship has been on the line or not. And he has held that gold successfully since WrestleMania Saturday, defeating Seth Rollins, John Cena, Braun Breaker, Edge, and Randy Orton. McIntyre now rolls on to the SmackDown main event in Levi Stadium next month at SummerSlam. And the man who just took the brain buster from Ricochet is going to be his challenger. 
But I'm sure Ricochet looks at this matchup as an opportunity tonight to put his name in the hat for future championships here on SmackDown. Nice maneuver there by the one and only, not able to defeat the number one contender for the World Heavyweight title, but if we know one thing about Ricochet, he's gonna keep swinging. He's the man who held the Cruiserweight Championship for upwards of six months here in the WWE, and is still pretty hot off losing the tag team titles with Mustafa Ali last month at King of the Ring. Off the pay light kick, almost had him there. As we mentioned, Ricochet a participant in Money in the Bank this past Sunday. Might have come up short, may have not been able to climb the ladder quick enough and outrun everybody else to take down the briefcase. But Ricochet looking to make the most of another opportunity here tonight. Unfortunately, Austin Theory sidestepping the moonsault. Now the King of the Ring winner looking to make some noise here in Nashville. And I'm sure Drew McIntyre He's got his eyes locked on this matchup. He still may be reeling, still may be hurt after that triple threat affair this past Sunday. What an absolute war it was. But McIntyre, we don't call him the Scottish warrior for nothing. He is built for battle. As he has proved time and time again in Austin Theory. Better meet Drew McIntyre with that same energy come SummerSlam if Theory wants to have the chance to defeat McIntyre and become the new World Heavyweight Champion. We know Austin Theory's got what it takes. We have seen him beat the best of them. Not only winning King of the Ring, but Theory was WWE Champion for a month and change last year. And Austin Theory, remember, defeated Cody Rhodes at WrestleMania earlier this year as well, spoiling the return of the American Nightmare. Austin Theory's got all the tools to be World Heavyweight Champion here on Friday Night SmackDown, but will he be able to get the job done? In just a month's time, Levi Stadium, San Francisco, California, the biggest party of the summer, SummerSlam. And Ricochet knocking Theory off the apron that time. Ricochet knows what's at stake tonight. Imagine if Ricochet can defeat the number one contender for the World Heavyweight title. Mustafa Ali could become the number one contender for the United States title. The two men that lost tag team gold last month at King of the Ring will certainly have a smile from ear to ear. Now Theory on the outside of the ring trying to get back into this matchup as he sends the one and only back inside the squared circle. Music City is rocking tonight. So it's going to be a great night of action here on SmackDown. Still to come in your main event is a five-man elimination contest. Mustafa Ali, Robert Roode, Dolph Ziggler, Braun Breaker, and the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes making his return for the first time since he lost to Gunther last month at Super SmackDown in Washington, D.C. It'll be a very interesting main event. Meanwhile, Ricochet going for the 630. However, nobody home. Crash and burn. The one and only goes down. And Austin Theory may be nearing victory in your opening contest. And I think that's going to do it. Into the cover. Oh, but the one and only gets the shoulder up. A close call by Ricochet. Went to the top for the 630. Almost had him. Unfortunately, nobody home. Austin Theory able to avoid it, but Ricochet survives, getting dropped on the knee of Theory. Austin Theory going to keep the metal, I should say the foot on the gas pedal. I'm sure Theory hopes Drew McIntyre has got his eyes keen on this matchup, trying to send a message to the World Heavyweight Champion. Less than five weeks out from their matchup at SummerSlam. Ricochet's got to get back into this matchup. Austin Theory changing the tides. Off that 6.30 miss. Ricochet may have kicked out, but how much is left in the tank of the one and only as Theory continuing to persevere. Ricochet down and out, and you gotta wonder, Theory was not in action this past Sunday at Money in the Bank, but Ricochet was involved in that ladder matchup. Was Ricochet coming to this matchup a little battered and bruised? Might not be 100% in this match against Austin Theory here tonight. Oh my goodness, what a chop by Ricochet. Heard round Music City, and here comes the one and only. Well, that's some way to fight out of a corner, if you will, for your back's against the wall. Loudest chop in Nashville. Off the shooting star press, and Nashville, Tennessee, starting to come unglued for the human highlight reel of the blue brand. Ricochet again pops up. Nice Pele. And Ricochet might have this matchup. And Austin Theory kicks out. Close call by Ricochet. 
And these two young athletes tearing things up to kick things off on SmackDown. Meanwhile, Fury, small package here to steal the win, not just yet. Fury trying to re resort to any and all means to get the victory tonight. Ricochet not going to allow it. Fury better realize that he's got to learn to fight out of these situations. Especially when you got Drew McIntyre on your tail come SummerSlam. Ricochet has got Theory rocked right now. The one and only sending Austin Theory back into the ring. And the young man from A-Town is in trouble. Is the one and only. Look at this. Look at him break the rib cage of the King of the Ring winner. But Theory just, just going to ditch it right back to him. Off the reversal. Got the knees up on the shooting star. And now Theory in the driver's seat. Ricochet might have blown his best shot. Wait a minute. A town down. Into the cover on Ricochet. And that's going to do it. Well, the one and only putting up a valiant effort against the 2023 King of the Ring. But Austin Fury right now is full steam ahead towards Levi Stadium and the biggest party of the summer on the 20th of August. Here is your winner. Will Austin Theory successful tonight? But the question remains, will Austin Theory be successful next month at SummerSlam when he gets his biggest matchup of his career one-on-one -on -one with Drew McIntyre for the World Heavyweight Championship? In 2016, the landscape of WWE was altered when the best wrestlers from around the globe at 205 pounds and under gathered on common ground and fought to earn the ultimate spotlight. Now, we do it all over again, starting on Saturday afternoon, August the 19th, 16 of the best cruiserweights in all of WWE will compete in an eight-week eliminator to determine a future challenger for gold and to decide who is the best in the world. It's the 2023 WWE Cruiserweight Classic Tournament, and it all begins on the 19th of August. Huge news to discuss as SmackDown rolls on, but here comes the EST. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Knoxville, Tennessee, Bianca Belair. Well, as Bianca Belair makes her way to the ring tonight, real quick, we got to discuss the breaking news just revealed the WWE 2023 cruiserweight classic tournament all kicks off on saturday august the 19th the summer slam weekend shaping up to be one of the biggest in history an eight-week tournament coming your way with the cruiserweight classic next month more info to be revealed on what is going to be an exciting 16-man tournament but here tonight in nashville women's division action on our hands as the EST of WWE. She may have come up short in Money in the Bank this past Sunday, but she's looking to bounce back tonight in Music City. Bianca's got her hands full with a young hungry talent on the Friday night SmackDown roster. Zoe Stark making her way down the aisle, looking to knock off an established superstar of the blue brand. And from Utah, Zoe Remember, Bianca Belair defeated her tag team partner in the ballsy badass Shotzi to qualify for Money in the Bank a number of weeks ago in an absolutely awesome matchup that emanated from the TD Garden in Boston, Massachusetts. Bianca picked up the victory. That was shortly after Bianca and Shotzi had lost the women's tag team titles, and Bianca took that opportunity to this past Sunday. Fortunately for her, it was the nightmare Rhea Ripley taking down the briefcase, and Rhea Ripley has got her opportunity at the WWE Women's Championship anytime, any place for up to one year. And you want to talk about opportunity, you got to look at Zoe Stark, who's going to be looking to take advantage of this opportunity tonight. But Bianca Belair hot out of the gate, looking to run through this young competitor on SmackDown. 
Of course, the happenings in the women's division this past Sunday, not only Rhea Ripley retaining, or I should say taking down the Women's Money in the Bank briefcase, but Shayna Baszler, the Queen of Spades, retaining her WWE Women's Championship against Liv Morgan. You also saw the return of the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. Things breaking down between those two egos. Between Monday Night Raw's Asuka and SmackDown's Shayna Baszler. What about what happened on WWE Live this past Saturday night? Katana Chance and Caden Carter retaining their women's tag team titles over Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell of Friday Night SmackDown. A lot of opportunity in the women's division right now. Zoe Stark and Bianca Blair looking to take the most advantage of it. And it all starts by getting your hand raised from bell to bell, as we speak on all the time. Championship opportunities, main events, bigger spotlight on whatever brand you're on. All starts by getting the W inside of the ring. Zoe Stark has been impressive since joining SmackDown. She's taken some losses, also has some wins under her belt. But Bianca Blair not looking to be one of those victories in Zoe Stark's win column tonight. Zoe just trying to get back inside of the ring. Bianca trying to even the score. And there's a pump kick by Stark. Could be a knockout blow. The EST got her bell rung right there. But going to keep swinging. Look at the strength of Bianca. Very impressive maneuver, especially after that pump kick out of Zoe Stark, who's still swinging for the fences, but you can never knock the strength, the heart, the hustle of the EST. One of the toughest women, not only on SmackDown, but in the entire WWE, and Zoe Stark is finding that out firsthand. Rare mistake out of Bianca right there, not looking where she was inside of the ring. Zoe saved by the ropes, at least for a moment. So he's got to get back into this because Bianca is rolling right now. Wait a minute, goes behind. Look at the strength once again being on display as Bianca now into the cover. Searching for victory. But Zoe Stark continues to purse on. Now Bianca heading to the top rope. We know the EST can be dangerous from the heavens with the 450. Into the cover. Thanks for coming, Zoe Stark. A big time victory tonight for. Wait a minute. Well, wait, wait a minute. What's going on? Shotzi from behind. Shotzi just blindsided her tag team partner, Bianca Belair. Or, or should I say, former tag team partner. Shotzi taking matters into her own hands and just laid out the EST, Bianca Belair, tonight on SmackDown. What is the biggest party of the summer? And it is coming your way Sunday night, August the 20th, from Levi Stadium in San Francisco, California, the 2023 SummerSlam. But SummerSlam week going to be huge as we have several live premieres coming your way. The final Raw and SmackDown before the SummerSlam event will be live at 5 p.m. Eastern time. And, of course, Saturday afternoon, August the 19th, from the Hammerstein Ballroom in New York City. The Cruiserweight Classic will kick off. The eight-week tournament all begins August the 19th at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. And as we mentioned, August the 20th, Levi Stadium. It is WWE SummerSlam. The biggest party yet, the biggest weekend of the summer all begins next month. But here tonight in Music City, it is time to determine the number one contender for Gunther's United States Championship in a five-man elimination match. Who's going to be the last man standing set to challenge the ring general for the U.S. gold? The following contest is an elimination match. Making his way to the ring from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 182 pounds, Mustafa Ali. Well, this past Sunday at Money in the Bank, we had a awesome matchup between Rey Mysterio and the ring general Gunther. And my goodness, did the master of the 619 bring the fight to the undefeated champion. Rey pulled out all the stops, went to the air time after time again. 
But in the end, the power of the ring general, too much for the greatest mask of all time to handle, and the undefeated streak, and most importantly, the United States Championship reign of Imperium's ring general Gunta lives on to fight another day. Rey Mysterio falling by the wayside this past Sunday in Columbus, but who is gonna be next to step up and take their shot at the United States Champion? Could it be Mustafa Ali? Or could it be the blue chipper of Friday Night SmackDown? This young, hungry son of a bitch, a former two-time NXT champion, Braun Breaker. And from Woodstock, Georgia, weighing in at 230 pounds, Braun Breaker. One thing you can say about Braun Breaker ever since joining SmackDown back in March is that he has been climbing the ladder of success month after month. This is a man who went toe to toe with Drew McIntyre back in May for the World Heavyweight title. This is a man who was in the King of the Ring tournament, unfortunately fell out in the first round by a man he still has unsettled issues with in the show off Dolph Ziggler. Ron Breaker, of course, a participant in Money in the Bank this past Sunday night as well. And yet another opportunity arrives in the horizons of Braun Breaker. And you got to believe that Braun Breaker, someone as young and tough as him, has all the tools to be a man to possibly keep down the ring general Gunther. And from Hollywood, Florida, weighing in at 218 pounds, Dolph Ziggler! But speaking of Dolph Ziggler, this is the man that, as we mentioned, dating all the way back to June, defeated Braun Breaker in the opening round of the King of the Ring tournament. And Braun said on Twitter weeks ago that he has not forgotten about the show off. These two men locked horns yet again in the midst of that all-star eight-man tag team matchup seven nights ago here on SmackDown. Unfortunately, things not going on the side of Braun Breaker and company. But tonight, another opportunity for Braun Breaker to stick it to the show off. Two men with a lot of history dating back to NXT. And that history and that's that rivalry has really been reignited over the last few months on SmackDown. Something's got to give between Braun Breaker and Dolph Ziggler. And maybe tonight will just be the night that they finally settle their issues. But regardless of personal vendettas, all five men are entering with the chance to become number one contender for the United States Championship. And here comes a man who is no stranger to the red, white, blue, and gold. The glorious Robert Roode. He's been on a streak of bad luck, but will tonight be the night that Robert Roode turns it all around and becomes number one contender? And from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 235 pounds, the glorious Robert Roode. You know, one thing we can say about Robert Roode is even though he's been on a string of bad luck, he's been taking the fight to every man he's been in the ring with. Whether he's going one-on-one -on -one with Edge or battling out with the World Heavyweight Champion Drew McIntyre, Robert Roode has given his darnness, and tonight he tries again. And you certainly can't deny the popularity of the Glorious One every time he steps foot in the ring, regardless of some maybe underhanded tactics from time to time. The Music City certainly singing the songs of the glorious Robert Roode tonight. But will that be enough to power him through this five-man elimination match and possibly see Robert Roode become the number one contender for a championship he has held in years past, the United States title? You know, we talked about how Braun Breaker is a former two-time NXT champion. Well, Robert Roode has held that title before as well. Also a decorated tag team wrestler throughout his entire career, but Robert Roode's looking for championship gold. He's on the hunt, and maybe tonight kicks off that next step. But for the first time since Super Smackdown at the Capital One Arena last month, the American Nightmare has got his head on straight, has picked himself up, has dusted himself off, and he is itching for another opportunity to take down the man who choked him out last month. The American Nightmare, always sporting the red, white, and blue, wants to complement it with a little bit of gold around his waist. 
Cody Rhodes is back tonight in Nashville, but will Cody Rhodes be full steam ahead towards a rematch with Gutha? What is certainly a big fight feel anytime the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes enters the room. Nashville, Tennessee coming unglued for the prodigal son, but will Cody Rhodes be able to bounce back? Or is the loss that he suffered by hands of the champion himself still looming in the mind of Cody Rhodes tonight? You gotta have short term memory in this business. You gotta be able to forget the losses. Move on to your next challenge. And that is what Cody Rhodes needs to do tonight. And it is certainly no easy task ahead of the American Nightmare as there is four suitable challengers standing across from the American Nightmare tonight. At the end of the day, pinfall or submission, this is an elimination matchup. The last man standing will challenge Gunther for the United States Championship. Wolf Ziggler, Robert Roode, Mustafa Ali, Braun Breaker, and Cody Rhodes himself. And I'm sure the ring general standing in the Imperium locker room with eyes locked in the United States Championship five-man elimination challenge tonight. And certainly, as we mentioned, suitable challengers all the way around. And the only man that Guther has stepped in the ring with in recent memory is the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes himself. You gotta wonder what it would be like for Adolf Ziggler or Braun Breaker or any of these men to get in the ring with Gunther and have their crack at the United States Championship. You look at a guy like Mustafa Ali, or as we were talking about earlier, hot off the heels in a tag team championship reign with Ricochet last month, was unable to qualify for Money in the Bank that spot. But to the man that defeated him in Braun Breaker, and Ali, if he ever wakes up from that cheap shot, and chair shot by Robert Roode may have his opportunity to become the United States champion yet again. Ali held that gold back in December, only had about 11 day reign with it. Maybe tonight's the night that Ali catapults himself back to number one contendership. Robert Roode, the first man to see this matchup break down in a sense, taking advantage of the rules, no count outs and no disqualifations. Only pinfall or submission, submission is going to see some bodies fly in this elimination match. Meanwhile, take a look on the outside. Dolph Ziggler and Braun Breaker going at it. A personal vendetta between these two men tonight. And Ziggler coming unglued on the outside. We knew all hell was going to break loose in this main event. And certainly whoever's going to be the last man standing going to be a deserving challenger to face the man who has been undefeated since his SmackDown debut all the way back in December. Cody Rhodes is a lone man standing inside of the ring right now. Dare I say maybe the smartest man in this matchup. Now participating in the chaos on the outside of the ring as Mustafa Ali makes his way back inside the squared circle. Going to go one-on-one -on -one with the American Nightmare at least for the moment. It's a one-on-one -on -one matchup I'd love to see down the line. Meanwhile, Ali taking down Cody. It's the first time in five weeks Cody has been inside the squared circle after he was tapped out and choked out by the ring general Guther. We're going to need to take some a few weeks off after that physical battle. Damn near 20-minute fight between Cody and Guther. Cody had to tap in that matchup last month at Super SmackDown to avoid any further injuries, but... Now healed up 100% tonight, back in action with an opportunity to challenge Guther again. I mean, what better matchup, or I should say, what worse matchup for Cody Rhodes to come back in? Sure, the opportunity's on the line, but four dangerous competitors opposing Cody in this match. Taking the fight to Braun, meanwhile, Ali taking down Cody. So we got a brawl on the outside between the glorious Robert Roode and the show off, Dolph Ziggler. And Cody, meanwhile, inside of the ring with a vertebraker on Mustafa Ali for the elimination here, not just yet. Almost had Ali. A close call by Ali with the elimination. Cody Rose hitting that vertebraker. Got to feel good to get some of the ring rust off, shake off some of the cobwebs here tonight in Nashville. Meanwhile, Robert Roode trying to swing for the fences with that chair. Cody having none of it. 
It's been a chaotic main event already since the opening bell. Only one man is gonna fight Gunther next to the United States Championship. We will find out in due time. The brawl continues on the outside of the ring. Meanwhile, Cody and Ali still going tit for tat inside the ropes. Cody hits the corner. Ali, there's a reversal by the American Nightmare. Oh, wait a minute, Cody going behind and stacking up Mustafa Ali off that misstep. And there he goes. Cody Rhodes catching Ali, and the first casualty of this matchup has been made. Mustafa is out of here, and Cody standing tall in Music City. Well, that only brings this matchup to four. Cody able to get the first elimination, but still Dolph Ziggler, Braun Breaker, and Robert Roode ahead as Ziggler makes his way back into the ring, but the American Nightmare takes him off his feet. Ziggler trying to take down Cody. Meanwhile, Breaker and Robert Roode going at it. Those two men have had some battles in the past as well. Robert Roode has spent the majority of this matchup on the outskirts of the ring. And meanwhile, Ziggler with a famouser on Cody Rhodes. Looking to end the American Nightmare's night on a sour note. A LeBron Breaker back into the ring and going after the man he is looking to settle a score with. Breaker's been itching to get his hands on Dolph Ziggler. A lot of action to keep up with as Cody takes down Robert Roode. Now Ziggler coming from behind and down goes Cody. Ziggler might have had an elimination there, but too much chaos. Wait a minute, Robert Roode with a glorious DDT, and he may have hit the chair on the way down. Luckily, Dolph Ziggler, enough fight to kick out in this matchup, but how close was that? Ziggler taking care of Robert Roode, but there's Braun Breaker coming from behind with the steel chair. Braun Breaker and Robert Roode really using those chairs to their advantage in this elimination fight. Meanwhile, Robert Roode looking to tap out Breaker here. And Cody rolling up Ziggler, but the referee's back is turned. Breaker gets out of the submission. There's the pinfall, but Ziggler able to kick out. Man, moments after we say there's a lot of action to keep up with. Too much action for even the referee to keep up with in this five-man, now four-man elimination match. As you witness the chaos and anarchy delivered on a silver platter, this is what we mean when we say that whoever's going to fight Gunther next is certainly going to be a deserving challenger. Cody off the top, dropping the elbow on the heart of Braun Breaker. Cody, I'm sure over the last five weeks has been thinking about that loss to Gunther moment every day. And wants to get his shot one more time with the ring general. Dolph Ziggler, a man who's been in this business for a long time as well. You got to look at him as somebody who only has maybe so many opportunities left and looking to take the advantage of the most of them. Back inside the ring. Cutting off Robert Roode before he can swing that steel chair like a baseball bat at him. Enter the cover. There's a kick out by the glorious one. Ziggler trying to go behind on Cody. Cody having none of it. Bionic elbow takes Ziggler down. An old shout out to the son of a plow. Wait a minute, wait a minute. And there's another vertebraker on Ziggler for the elimination. Not just yet. Ziggler kicking out. Dolph Ziggler surviving some of the best maneuvers that his opponents have to offer tonight. And that's the kind of fight that Dolph Ziggler needs to have, not only to win this matchup, but if he, if he can win, if he can fight Guther for the United States title, Ziggler's going to have to have everything in the tank possible. Left inside the ring with Braun Breaker. LeBron not looking to come up short to Dolph yet again, especially after the last time these two men went one-on-one, -on -one, and possibly their best collision yet in the King of the Ring first round battle over a month ago. Come on the outside, Braun Breaker getting another chair, as if we don't have enough of those in play already. Send to Robert Roode, Roode able to put the tracks on. These guys are throwing lefts and rights, live rounds at ringside. Meanwhile, well, Dolph Ziggler's now got a chair in mind. And Ziggler could be on the verge of starting to swing. A breaker was able to avoid at that time. 
And the United States champion, Guthrie, I'm sure he is loving watch all these men pick each other apart in this match. And Guthrie has turned away some of the best of them. Rey Mysterio this past Sunday, he has retained the gold over AJ Styles over, wait a minute, Robert Roode. Down goes Cody off the pump handle. And just like that, another elimination, not just yet. The action can happen in a matter of a snap of the fingers, and so can an elimination. Luckily for Cody, he was able to survive. That was a close call there. Robert Roode almost had the American Nightmare. Roode dazed and confused. Cody now springboard, moves salt, and down goes the glorious one. That may have been Roode's best shot. Oh, wait a minute, here comes Cody. Crossroads! Into the cover on Robert Roode. Hit the showers. Cody two for two with eliminations in this contest. And Adolf Ziggler trying to sneak up on Cody with the American Nightmare not having none of it. Off the ropes and face first goes the show off. Cody eliminating Mustafa Ali, now eliminating Robert Roode. We are down to three men, and Cody, in my eyes, stuck between a rock and a hard place between two men who absolutely hate each other and Dolph Ziggler and Braun Breaker. Or on the reverse, it might be the best thing that could have happened to Cody, because Breaker and Ziggler may be more interested in just destroying each other before even focusing on the United States Championship. Barricade bomb, and down goes Dolph. You notice Breaker not even interested in trying to bring Dolph back inside the ring to go for the cover, grabbing the steel chair and using it on Ziggler. But now Ziggler's trying to reverse. And Cody may be the smartest man in all of Tennessee right now, just watching as Breaker and Dolph beat the living hell out of each other and live to talk about it. Oh, but he gets hit with a chair there. Ron Breaker not going to allow Cody Rhodes to watch on the show. Cody back inside of the ring as Ziggler and Braun meet once again at ringside here. And I think these two men are just hell-bent on making sure that the other is not going to be left standing tonight. And Cody Rhodes again, smartest man in Music City, just sitting back and watching as Breaker and Dolph beat each other pillar to pope. Breaker in the ring, Cody now with an A. Only one of these men can challenge the ring, General Gunther, for the United States title. Will it be the young, the hungry blue chipper of SmackDown, Braun Breaker? Will it be Dolph Ziggler, a man who has been starting to resurface throughout 2023, looking for that last big run here on SmackDown? Or will it be the American Nightmare, looking to run things back after Gunther choked him out five weeks ago? Cody dropping the elbow on Ziggler. And able to capitalize and Breaker going for the chair shot. Cody avoids it. And Cody starting to rule the squared circle right now. And Nashville is coming unglued for the American Nightmare, but Ziggler's got other plans with the DDT. These five men that have participated throughout this match leaving everything they got in this arena tonight all in the means of just getting a shot to become the United States Champion. Of course, this is the final, or should say the first Friday Night Smackdown on the road to SummerSlam, and business is heating up tonight as Braun Breaker may have just spelled the end to Dolph Ziggler's evening. And Ziggler kicks out again. The heart of the show-off. Not to be outdone tonight. Ziggler has kicked out of almost everybody's finishing maneuvers. And somehow the show-off still remains in this match. Now Cody in there with Braun Breaker. Crossroads! Into the cover, looking for his third. Elimination! He gets it! Braun Breaker has been eliminated. Oh, wait a minute. Crossroads on Ziggler! Looking to go back to back! A clean sweep! There it is! A clean sweep of eliminations. The American Nightmare resurfacing tonight and making a very loud and proud statement that Cody Rhodes is back, is better than ever, and he is coming for Guther and coming for the United States Heavyweight Championship. 
What a matchup. What survival instincts out of Cody Rhodes tonight on SmackDown. Here is your winner. Cody Rhodes has got a date with destiny. We are set to run things back in mere time with Cody Rhodes and Gunther. But will the second time be a charm? And are we looking at the next United States champion? Gunther has been on the run of a lifetime, undefeated since joining the blue brand. But has Cody Rhodes put together the pieces to become the kryptonite to the ring general for the United States title? On when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a ride.